I mean, horsetail fall is an amazing natural phenomenon if you see it under the right circumstances, when there's enough water, when the light's right. This thin ribbon of water just glowing neon orange with the cliff in the shade behind it so it just seems like it has its own sort of light that there's there's nothing else creating it so it's it's really an amazing and beautiful thing to see you know even if you don't photograph it just standing there watching it under those circumstances is I think a really cool thing well Horsetail Falls I've always called it uh, El Capitan Fall uh, was something we saw in the spring every year and it was wonderful but it was a uh, sort of an ephemeral uh, waterfall that if you had a good snow year and you had a lot of water at once it was pretty spectacular. The earliest photograph of Horsetail Fall that I know of was made by Ansel Adams sometime in the 30s and it's black and white. It's, it's hard to tell whether he or anyone from that era knew about you know that orange color that orange glow on horsetail fall at that certain time of year. Even if Ansel Adams didn't know about it, he probably didn't care because he was photographing in black and white. So, you know, what does he care about some orange color? This is an Ansel Adams photograph of the horsetail falls or, or El Capitan Falls in a profile view. This was taken around 1952, according to his notes. The color is there, but, but his camera is only going to produce a black and white image. And his exposure and his treatment of the darkroom was such to make it look like what he wanted it to be, not necessarily what you and I would see at that same time. The first photograph of that neon orange glow on Horsetail Fall that, that I know of, or I think anyone knows of, was made by Galen Rowell, very famous photographer uh, in 1973, I think. And he describes being here in the valley, being kind of on the other side of the valley, and seeing that light on Horsetail Fall and driving around the valley, exceeding the speed limit to get to a spot and photograph it. And I think his photograph is, is still one of the best that I've ever seen of it. Hi, I'm Tony Rao. We're at the Mountain Light Gallery in Bishop, California. We're looking at my father, Galen Rao's famous image of last light on Horsetail Fall on El Capitan. 38 years later, after thousands of people have photographed the fall, I think he would be flattered that so many people are coming to photograph this rare phenomenon. Well, we're here because we want to see the famous uh, firefalls. And, I'm here uh, because he falls. wants to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the photographer. Well, you don't get to see this in uh, anywhere in the world, I think. Um, this is a more special waterfall, glowing in red. Where do you get there? <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks a little bit like the old firefall that they used to have off of Glacier Point. The firefall basically was around five in the afternoon. They would build a bonfire, light a bonfire of red fir bark right on the edge of Glacier Point. And it burned down and usually by about nine o'clock, it was just a pile of red coals and they had these long pushers. They opened the little gate and started pushing and they tried to keep a steady flow of the coals going over the edge uh, until all the coals were gone. Then the waiting fire tenders push the coals over the brink. Silently the glowing cascade bands out into a fiery cataract drifting down in slow, majestic motion. For a fleeting moment, its beauty holds you spellbound. Then you gather it up as your most treasured memory of Yosemite, Valley of Enchantment. hoping to capture that, that fleeting moment when nature kind of comes together and produces something spectacular. I think if the sunlight cooperates and the clouds don't come in, we could, we could have something that'll be really special. Trying to photograph Horsetail Fall gives you an appreciation for the movement of the sun, the, you know, the changing angles of the sun during the year, you know, the changing water flow from the snowpack and the temperature. 
It only occurs in February for a two-week period and doesn't occur every single year. It depends on if there's water flowing, if you've got a nice clear sky, if you have any clouds or any fog, you won't get this. So you may miss it for years. It may not occur. That's one thing as a photographer you learn more about weather than, than anything else. And just looking at this, I'm hoping that it doesn't you know, get any more occluded, any more tight between those uh, cirrus clouds. As the sun's starting to set, the, the shadows will run across the face of El Capitan. That light source will, will start to shrink in and just hit the firefall, or hit the waterfall and cause the water to glow. Yellow, orange, red. Makes it look like lava. That makes uh, the picture very special if you can take a good picture because it's nothing to do with your technique or with anything. It's just, uh, uh, well, the luck. You sit here and you watch this gray and silver and white and pretty soon a little pink comes up and then it gets redder and redder and it's, it lights up like like someone put makeup on it. I mean, obviously there's the photography aspect and then there's people who like Yosemite and if you happen to like both the things, then that's probably why you want to keep trying to come back. I'm sure many of these people have come every year. They don't just come once. No matter what your, your level of expertise is, uh, you're gonna go home with pictures that you're gonna love because it's hard to take a picture of Yosemite that isn't great. Photography is probably an excuse to come out here see the sights. Good excuse to come up here and spend some time. You can't go anywhere without getting something special. Everything here is special. Everything from the air you breathe to the sunrise, the sunsets, the fog in the valley. It just goes on and on. I don't know, it's just breathtaking to me. Just breathtaking. I think that's it. There's always another photo. There's always another experience in the exact same spot you're at. So you just need to be open. And it just keeps giving gift after gift after gift.